Thank you very much for joining. Uh, today we're going to go over Dr. Darkness, uh, another Goose tune. That's a great, great song. Um, I think it's only out there uh, on live albums. I don't think it's on a studio album anywhere. But it's an awesome, awesome tune. It's a lot of chords in this one, so kind of a lot to go over. Um, so we'll go ahead and hop in here very soon. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications. I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you are not new, thanks again for coming back. Greatly appreciated. Like I said, a lot of chords to go over here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so for uh, Dr. Darkness, starting with the uh, intro, uh, which is also the same as the verse, uh, we're starting here with this G sharp minor seven. Into this B, C sharp seven to E flat seven. Uh, so that's the first uh, <clears throat> first progression there, um, and so that G sharp uh, G sharp minor. Um, all right, so that G sharp minor, barring that fourth fret there, uh, ring finger is on the sixth of the A, and pinky is on the sixth of the D. So that's your G sharp uh, G sharp minor. And then what you want to do there, a little kind of a small walk down. So uh, on this low E string here, hitting this um, sixth fret here uh, with my ring. So, so I'm hitting that, and then I'm going into this B shape. So keeping the bar on the fourth fret, and then um, ring fingers on the sixth fret here of that A, and then we've got pinky going to the seventh of the low E, which is a B. And that gives you that B there, so. Okay. From there we hop to the C sharp minor. So again, we're staying on that bar here on that fourth. Uh, middle fingers on the fifth of that uh, B. Um, <clears throat> pinky is on the sixth of the G and ring on the sixth of the D there. Coming here to this E flat seven, um, and looking at the uh, the tabs, I think they're they might be playing this E flat seven in a different position. Um, I like playing it here. This is a very easy, natural way to get to the E flat seven, E seven shapes. So that's how I'm playing it here. So. E flat seven, uh, barring six fret here, and then we've got our um, pinky on the eighth of the B and bring on the eighth of the D. And that's your E flat seven there. Okay, so that's the first first section <laughs> there. Uh, then you're gonna go back to the G sharp uh, minor again. Then you're gonna play a, a typical barred B. Uh, you can play it here. You can play it up here as well. Uh, I tend to come down here, so. All right, so then for that, we're just going with an E7. And then to that E flat seven, so. Okay. And again, the, uh, the E7 is you're just taking your E flat seven here where you're barring that six. You just move it down to the seventh there. And then you've got your E seven. Okay. So the first two sections. Okay. And you go uh, back to the first part again. here go 
very cool stuff. I guess how we finish that off here. So we've got our G sharp minor here. And then we just uh, play that, that bar here on that fourth fret. So, but we're just playing the, um, the D, G, and B. Okay, so. And then we shift up here. So now we've got uh, index finger is on uh, third fret, third fret of the D, uh, middle finger is on the fourth of the G, and ring is on the fourth of the B. This is, uh, I guess, kind of a B flat variation chord of some sort. And from here, we go to our uh, E flat seven or our E seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and for that, you've got middle finger, uh, second fret uh, of the D, index finger, first fret of the G and ring third fret of the B. That is your E7. And then we finish up with the E flat seven. So that is index finger, um, first fret of that D and uh, uh, open G and ring finger, second fret of the B. For some reason, you know, getting to the shape, you know, is, is tricky and doesn't feel natural to you. You can, uh, you can play it. You can come back and play your E7s down here. But they both sound the same, um, I think. I think the open, the open gives it a little, a little deeper feel though. So. I think that's I think that is the right way to play it, um, but either way it's going to sound good. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through that slowly here. That is the uh, your intro and verse. Um, so there's that little little riff there at the end. You can play it like that if you like to. Um, okay, so that's uh, 16th fret on the B, and then on the high E, 15th fret. And you're just kind of sliding into that 16 and resolving on the 15th there. Okay, so that is uh, that's intro and verse. And all right, so for the chorus, uh, I'll go ahead and break this down here as well. Uh, so we'll start with the first, first little section here. All right, that is the first section there. All right, so we start with uh, with our barred B here to the E flat. Back to our G sharp minor and to an E here. Uh, so the only chord we haven't done so far, I think, in this lesson is this E. Um, so we're going to bar that fourth fret there. Middle finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the B. Um, ring finger is going to be on the sixth of the D, and pinky on the seventh of the A. So B, E flat, G sharp minor, B, uh, B again. There's and here's somewhat of a weird chord. <laughs> it's a very cool chord. I like that a lot actually. Though. Uh, so I believe this is a look at this here. So this is a F minor seven of sorts. Um, so we are barring the sixth fret here. No, we're barring the eighth fret, <laughs> and then ring finger is or middle finger is on the ninth fret uh, of this D, and ring is on the ninth fret of the B. Very cool diminished sound there. Okay, uh, from here we're gonna go to an E, and then to an F sharp, 
and that F sharp, again, we're sticking with that same E shape that we were playing here. So now we're just barring, um, barring that sixth fret. this little riff which leads back into a B so um, uh, seventh fret here on the B uh, ninth on the G and then um, on the G you're gonna slide from the seventh to the eighth and that leads you back into your B next little section here so we've got our B turn E flat again here okay so B E flat we're gonna our G sharp minor again and then we're gonna take our pinky off the second time so and hitting um, back to that E shape there our answer from here got that uh, another little weird diminished shape there uh, so this this time we're barring the sixth fret and we've got our middle finger on the seventh uh, of that D and um, ring on the seventh of the B and from here we go back to our G sharp minor back to our C sharp minor so an E B flat seven E flat seven, and that will end it there. Uh, so that B flat seven, barring the sixth fret here, uh, middle finger on the seventh fret of the G, and uh, ring on the eighth of the A. All right, and that is uh, that is the course. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and play through that. Is the uh, the course for for doctor that <laughs> for doctor darkness uh, so that is uh, basically your intro version course for this for the song the only thing we don't have here is the solo um, I am hoping to to figure that out uh, and do a lesson of that because it's a really really fun little solo that they play in that one um, but I hope this helps you guys out hope you guys enjoy this uh, please leave me feedback comments below and see you guys again soon